This is JC with Scorpio Wolf Tarot. Thank you for joining me this week. This is going to be a reading for the water sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. As always, the roles can be reversed, so flip it as you may see fit. These readings are meant to be timeless, and so whenever you're meant to see and hear them, that's when you're meant to see and hear them. Basically, we are all on different timelines, so we're not all experiencing the same thing at once. It's going to be kind of weird if everybody was going, all Scorpios were going through the same thing all at one time. So, if this is, this reading doesn't re resonate with you at all, just, uh, like I said, take what's yours. And there could be, check out the other placements in your chart, because those could have, contain messages for you. Uh, so, I've gone ahead and pulled a card for you, so let's get to it. So this is going to be a you versus them reading like we have uh, been experiencing for the past month or month and a half. Um, so this is not your general reading. This is going to be a, more of a love reading for the person you came to this this love reading for. Um, so we're going back to the, the, the other what the other way every alternating every week with these readings. So the energy between the two of you is that of an uncooperation. So. I kind of feel that somebody's ego is getting in the way. It's keeping y'all apart because you don't want to cooperate with one another. But the, what the universe wants you to know is that with the Ten of Swords being here, that's the end. You know, that's ending. That's ending with the with some work between the two of you. So there's some work that needs to be done. Some egos that need to be let that go of for the Three of Pentacles, so that you guys can go back to cooperating and trying to make this relationship work. Um, Scorpio, uh, you guys got the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is a celebration card. It's also, a, it's all the other meaning that, I, and I like this, the Light Seers deck because it gives me different meanings for the cards. And this is about friendships, your kinship, your soul family. You know, this is about making amends. You know, if there, you have a friend that you haven't made, haven't been friends with, that you haven't talked to in a while, it's time to keep, keep that, that soul family tightly um uh, tight with you so you know scorpios are they're known to have uh, not that many friends um they tend to be more about the trust and the loyalty so this is about being in that energy of trust and loyalty and and just that soul connection between the people the, the small circle of friends that you come into contact with over the course of your life so if there's somebody you haven't reached out to reach out to them you know Keeping that that circle of friends for support is is highly needed for you, Scorpios, to you know work on this relationship that you have with your with your person that you came to this reading for. Uh, you did get the Ace of Cups in reverse, so this is about practicing self love. You know, it's usually an offer of love; it's an offer of the cup of love. But when it's in the reverse like this, it's telling me that Scorpio, you guys have been not focusing. You've been focusing too much on other others. People are going through then putting self love on yourself, so you might have neglected been a little neglect. Oh, excuse me, neglecting, you know, your personal well being. You might have been taking too much at work. You've been working too much. You've been, you know, overloading yourself with things that don't benefit you. That's just stressing you out. You're probably like neglecting your health. You're probably letting yourself go a little bit. So this is a time for you know self love. This is the universe telling you. Hey, you know, Scorpio, stop. You need to just, you know, you know, eat healthier, be less stressed, meditate, anything that can open up that heart chakra. Because right now, if you don't have love for yourself, how can you show somebody else love? And that's what Scorpios are, are being told to do this time, this, uh, during this time frame. Um, your person got the Ace of Swords. So I kind of see this Ace of Swords as a aha moment with them. Uh, they have been, they have been, like I said, the energy has been uncooperative between the two, two of you. So this is probably them saying, aha, uh -huh, oh, Scorpio, I need to be with Scorpio. Aha, uh -huh, you know, Scorpio treating me this way. This other person, it wasn't treating me this way. Aha, uh -huh, you know, this, these thoughts are going, this is the realization, the thoughts. And like I said before, thoughts become reality. So they're going, oh, I need to be with Scorpio because this is the way Scorpio treats me. This is, you know, you know, this is the way that they Scorpios want to be treated going forward. You know, this is an aha moment. That this, this could be a friend. I kind of feel that my, maybe this has been a friend for a long time and they're finally going, you know, 
it wouldn't be so bad to be, you know, in more than just friends with a Scorpio. Or this could be a, somebody that just that you had recently broken up with and they're going, uh-huh, the grass isn't greener on, on the other side. And they're and they're ready to make that that offer of love to you. Um, they're slowly going to get into the, you know, the river that's in the picture. They're stopping at the, before the river. The horse is ready to make that first step in. But it's still a little slow, slow, but they, they have that opportunity to send out a message. This could be a message coming to you, Scorpio, or it could be... Uh, an offer coming to you as maybe they're going to uh, express their emotions to you and tell you how they feel about you. Because remember, you guys have been in this energy of being uncooperative, uh, the ego being being there. And if you're, you know, Scorpios kind of get that bad rap of having the big ego get in the way a lot of times and having things go their way. So it could be just, you know, with the Ace of Cup there telling us that we need to lower our our uh, our shields down to open up our heart you know we kind of tend to, it'll allow us to you know cooperate more let the ego put to the side and that's along with them too because like if the, if this is a relationship that broken up and then you're coming back together they need to let go of that ego they can't be the you know they were like yeah you know i might have been in the wrong i need to come clean apologize it has to be an apology of self of uh you mean really mean that the apology you can't just be oh i'm sorry no it has to be i'm sorry because this is what i did this i did not reveal it's mostly a sorry with emotion so they do have a they do have love for you scorpio so it's up to you to open up your heart chakra as well with the ace of cups in reverse it's time to open up and end this cycle with the ten of swords you know tens are ending so you'll get that ace of swords let's see the ten and then the one you have you've, you've suffered some pain, suffered you know tr trauma, but your person is coming out with the Ace of Swords. They have the aha moment. This is opening up the aha moment with them. So thank again. This is like what I got for you. This is the reading I have for you for this week. Thank you for joining me for you versus them. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Also leave a comment if this resonated with you in any way, or you know just want positive feedback or any kind of feedback. To, and to help other Scorpios that are going through this journey with, with you. Um, uh, hit hit like. That gets my content spread out to more YouTube subscribers. Uh, we are up to, I believe, 35 as long as I'm doing this reading. So uh, thank you for all my subscribers have added have added me as their, as their source for tarot readings. And I appreciate it very much. And y'all have a great week. Thank you.